here's another video on um this one is on convex mirrors not concave mirrors and we still follow the same rules for principal ray central ray and focal ray so parallel through the focal point central through the center and focal point and one through the focal um, point goes parallel after that and we're gonna do lens very soon so this example is the same for lens and mirrors i just had one with all the names of the um of the rays so let me show you that there is here it is there is an image there or, or object right there and um this is how it is used so you see the picture um it appears in um in convex mirror it appears that everything is inside of this um, dome so the image is inside of the dome but there is no rays that go through the dome um, through the mirror that appear in the dome it appears that if there is somebody inside of that dome so and this is the use of um, these two mirrors and um, so if you have an object on the picture on the right if you have an object then you would have um, first ray parallel through the focal point of the um, curvature which is on the other side so you have through the focal point then the second one you would have to the focal point so this one goes to the focal point uh, but as soon as it hits the mirror it goes parallel and so you see that where they meet is where the actual um, image is so in uh, convex mirrors all the images are going to be um, virtual because the rays do not meet at that point and um, in upright and i'm going to also post the video in the um, description which you should watch before you watch this um, video so this is only practice for convex mirrors and i think i have one for flat mirror in this example as well so i'm going to do a few questions and one or two of them are going to be on convex mirrors and just to go over the race one more time so you have the red one number one parallel then through the focal point the focal point of the mirror and the focal point of the mirror is one half of the radius of the curvature so the radius would be this much um, so this is the center point o and this is the focal point so you have parallel through the focal point uh, the blue one goes to the focal point and as soon as it hits the mirror goes parallel and the green one goes to where the center uh, point with the connection with the mirror and then um, yeah, the index um, ray angle is equal to the reflected ray angle and and I think one of them is the blue one was the to the to the fo focal point and then the green one is toward the center so let's look at the examples and i'm gonna do number eight first so for convex mirror mirror has a radius of curvature that is 50 centimeters so the radius is given um so i'm doing number eight 50 centimeters so that gives you that the focal point is 25 centimeters um that was easy 25 centimeters and uh, because it is convex mirror the convex mirrors um, have imaginary um, image then we um, say the focal point is negative so your focal point is going to be negative Let's do another example with convex mirrors before I do some um, examples not related to convex mirrors. So convex mirror has a focal length of negative 10 centimeters. So the focal length, sometimes they will tell you it is negative, sometimes they will not. But you have to remember that the convex mirrors have, mirrors have um, negative focal point. They all have imaginary um, image, so they all have negative focal point. An object also the focal point on the side where there is no race um, meet 
if on an object of and they give you the height of an object so the height of an object is given four centimeters is placed 20 centimeters in front of the mirror so the distance to the object is 20 centimeters find the position and size of the image so I'm going to use the mirror um, equation 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di so 1 over negative 10 is equal to 1 over 20 uh, plus 1 over di I'm going to times them all by 20 to get rid of the denominators so 20 over uh, negative 10 gives me negative 2 equals to 1 plus 20 over di then di is equal to 20 over negative 3 so di is equal to I'm just gonna keep it 20 over 3 so I don't have to uh, write 6.666 so that's gonna be centimeters I have to remember my answer is in centimeters mm -hmm. and again the image is also negative because it is in the virtual side um, and then they ask you to find the size of it so I need to find magnification magnification is equal to it is not inverted so it's upright uh, let's do the sketch of it so if this is where my mirror is located I'm gonna do it like this um, so here is the focal point here is the center of the curvature and the object is placed 20 centimeters in front so the object is 20 centimeters in front somewhere here um, then we have parallel through the focal point then the next one is going to be through the focal point so i'm going to do it first this way so i catch where it is so through the focal point and then parallel and then you could do another ray toward the center and back and then if you curl on it it's going to come the same position somewhere so it looks like here is your image the purple one so the mirror is uh, the magnification is equal to h i over h o or negative d i over d o um, it equals to negative 20 over 3 divided by do which is 20 so the magnification is oh and another negative right there so there was already a negative and i have another negative that we calculated for um di so that gives me don't like how it looks right here so it's going to be a negative negative right equals to so that gives me one third so the image is one third and from over here let me choose different color um, from over here i see that hi is equal to m times h o so hi is equal to one third of h o which is four so that is four thirds um, of a centimeter so that's 1.33 centimeters tall here's an example i want to look with you at as well but this one is a flat mirror so a man of um, height 1.8 meters tall uh, it's about 6.2 um, in american height um, feet 6.2 Oh, six, two, six feet two inches um, stands in front of a mirror and sees his full height no more and no less if his eyes are 0.14 meter from the top of his head what is the minimum height of the mirror so and we have to find um, this distance so I'm looking for how tall is the mirror right there 
So that's what I'm looking for, the, the distance um, or the height of that mirror. Let's actually call it H. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna draw another image right here for you to uh, better understand it. So I have a mirror and his eyes are uh, 0.14 centimeters from the top of the head. So his eyes, let's say right here, and they are looking at the top and here comes the top of his head. So his head is gonna be somewhere here. And then if he looks down, I'm gonna use different color. If he looks down, he will see his feet. So he will be his body, his feet, um, and the arms. So here's the handsome guy. And what I want to look right here is this part. Half of this distance is 0 0.07. So this is 0 0.07 meters. And the other half is 0 0.07, 0 0.07. So from the eyes to the top is 0 0.07. So that means um, if I take this piece out, so I'm gonna shade a different color. This piece that I shaded is 0 0.07. Then the rest of the piece that is left, I'm gonna sh uh, shade it in a different color. So I'm gonna shade it in blue and call it X, is one half of his body that is left because the ray right here, um, the incident ray is equal to the angle um, that is reflected. So these two angles equal to each other. So that means this length is equal to that length. So that means this is your X and this is your X. Um, and if the total height of the man is 1.8, so this is 1.8 meters, this much. Then this much is 1.66 meters if I subtract 0.14 from 1.8. So that means your X is 0.83 meters. So if 8 is 0.83 meters and this little piece is 0 0.07 meters, then um, the mirror, the height of the mirror is equal to 0 0.07, so that piece on the top, plus 0 0.83, which gives you um, 90 centimeters or 0.9 meters. There are more questions online um, in our lessons that you should probably practice and um, to the only get better if you practice more and more um, and look through the lessons and through the videos that I posted uh, additional to this video.